Paimon heard that you were seeking help from the bard over there. Where is assistance? Why not talk to us? Huh? I I barely plucked up the courage to talk to the bard. Uh, is he not available? Uh, don't be shy. It doesn't matter who you talk to. At the end of the day, you still gotta talk to your prospective sweetheart, right? Be brave. Let's hear it. <sighs> Here goes. Th there is someone I like. Marla. She's cute and hardworking, always helping her family out with the farm work. And sometimes, she gets so tired, she takes a nap on a bench by the side of the road. Is she from the city? N no, she lives in Springvale, quite away from me. And because of my family, <sighs> let's just say that our families are quite different. My father objects to us being together. But Marla and I have found a way to work around it. Whenever we want to meet, we go stargazing at Star Snatch Cliff. Well, sounds like you two are getting along just fine. We are. So, what I came to discuss today doesn't so much concern Marla as my father. My father is quite conservative and very strict. Still, it's my fault that I've never told him how I really feel. I... I'm thinking if I use this opportunity to offer a wind bloom to my father and formally ask for his approval at the same time, maybe he'll support us. What are you planning to say? I want to tell him that, even though Marla doesn't come from a wealthy family, her kind heart and hardworking nature are things that Mora can't buy. Uh, does that sound too childish? Oh, I hope he doesn't yell at me. Oh, oh no. Aw, there, there. Uh-huh. I see. Understood. Thank you. Another thing! Didn't you... What about Marla? Don't you want to give her something? Oh! Ah, now that you mention it, I wanted the bard to teach me how to compose a love poem. Of course. And I'll give her some flowers, too. Yeah, I I'll pick some later. Thank you for your help. Honorary Knight in Paimon. I didn't know I'd see you two here. Well then, I won't stand on ceremony. I want to offer some flowers to the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Fabonius, Jean. I guess you must be quite close to Master Jean. She's an incredibly upright and diligent woman. Talented and always gets the job done. Honest, kind, gentle, not to mention... Alright, we get it. She's pretty great. Sorry, once I get talking about Master Jean, I get a bit excited. This time tomorrow, I'll finish composing my poem, pick a fresh dandelion bouquet, head over to the office, and hand the flowers to the guard. It's just... the bouquet and the poem... I don't know... hmm... Best not sign them, after all. Wait a second! It's only normal to sign them! Why does that bother you so much? Knowing Master Jean's conscientious nature, I'm afraid she'll send a gift in return if she sees my name. She's so busy, I wouldn't want my gift to create more work for her. If I can get this bouquet on her desk, that's enough for me. But then, won't an untraceable bouquet create suspicion? Oh, what should I do? Uh...
Jean's definitely the kind of woman who'd come looking for you if she saw your name. If you really want to spare her the effort, best leave it unsigned. Right. Glad you agree. It's not without its risks, but her extreme conscientiousness is what I like about her. So for me, raising a bit of suspicion is a risk worth taking. Huh. <sighs> That's taken care of, then. A thousand thanks for your advice. I'll remember it. You're welcome. You there! Are you looking for help from the Bard? We're his assistants. Why don't you tell us what's on your mind? Oh! Uh, really? Well, uh, okay then. Here goes. I... I'm just such a huge fan of Mondstadt's idol, Barbara Sama. You must have heard of her. She's the super cute one at the Church of Favonius. Not to mention gentle, and she always lifts the people of Mondstadt's spirits with her smile and songs. I'm such a big fan. I even got a few like-minded friends together, and well, uh, what I mean to say is... <laughs> you guessed it. I'm the head of the Barbara fan club. Huh. Pretty pleased about it, too, by the sound of things. I carry the hopes and expectations of every member of the fan club on my shoulders. At this special time of year, I pledge to send our blessings to Barbara Sama herself. Of course, as a level-headed adult, I would never want to cause her any disturbance. I'm just waiting for my time slot with the bard so I can explain the plan. Take all the flowers picked by our members and turn them into a huge giant flower statue. Then, to give her a huge surprise, place it outside the rear entrance of the church. As for the love poem, we don't need any help. We're planning to do it on our own and hang it on the statue itself. So, this giant statue will be about two stories high. But it's all in good faith, don't you see? When Barbara Sama catches sight of it, she'll feel the burning flames of our everlasting love. So, what do you think? Uh-uh. Something that size is bound to be... impressive. She'll love it. Right? I knew it was a great idea. <laughs> Thanks for your suggestions, both of you. I, I gotta go. My gestures weren't always translated into the advice I intended to give. I guess I need to work on my communication for next time. Uh, next time! So, who else needs some help around here? Hmm, what are you three up to? Mind if I get in on the action? Kaya! <laughs> are you also here for romantic guidance? <laughs> it's the greatest bard in town. And now, the greatest romantic advisor in town, no doubt. Still, don't you have other business to attend to? Oh, you mean teaching people how to compose love poems? Exactly that. I heard you were teaching classes in the plaza, so I came right away. Huh? Kaya? You want to learn how to compose love poems, too? I'm not too shabby. Nevertheless... I'd like to register for the fast track classes. How come? You're a smooth talker. Do you really need my guidance? The real question is, are you willing to take me on as a student? Of course! When the Mora comes knocking, who am I to keep the door closed? <laughs> well then, I guess I'm enrolled. And as your student, may I make some reasonable demands? 
I knew there was more to it! Demands? Uh, let's hear them. As students, aside from attending class, we also need homework exercises. Surely a well-designed course would require us to put our knowledge into practice and then have our teacher correct the poems we compose. You mean Fendi has to correct the students' homework? Precisely. All in exchange for payment, naturally. These are my demands. Or, to put it another way, I'm actually gonna have to work for a living. <laughs> Is that so bad? I just think that with things like this, you should see them all the way through. More fun for everyone involved, don't you think? What do you say? I feel like Kaya's knack for mischief is at play here. It's indeed a vital step. And I am curious to see the fruits of my students' labor. Congratulations, Kaya! Your demands have been accepted! As I expected. A reasonable and down-to-earth teacher. Hold your horses. I have a demand for you, too. Cool! A coercion contest! I will pay special attention to your homework and guarantee that you will see improvement in your studies. But, as for your tuition fee, some Wind Bloom Festival exclusive Apple Bloom Cider should do the trick. <laughs> what with you and Master Diluc being on such good terms and all, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? <laughs> Steady now. Let's not overestimate my abilities. Still, one bottle of the good stuff in exchange for your guidance. Not an opportunity to pass up. Whoa, one bottle? <laughs> Make that three. Jeez, give him an inch and I'll take a mile. Please, please, please. Deal. Marvelous. Grab some paper and make your way over. Professor Venti's Poetry Masterclass is now in session. What's the paper the tongue deaf bard pulled out of his pocket? And whose names are those? Albert, Ellen, Marvin, Timaeus, Kaya, Bennett. Oh, uh, present! Wow, Bennett's really fired up for this. So you're Bennett? Excellent. I like your enthusiasm. Make sure to channel that vigor into your poetry. Yes, sir! Even adventurers want to learn how to write poetry. I see this is going to be a popular class. Tone Deaf Bard's gonna make a fortune! My dear students, in a moment, we will gather by the terrace in front of the cathedral, where I will divulge to you my experiences and techniques in the art of poetic composition. After class, I would like every one of you to compose a love poem and hand it to me for, uh, constructive criticism. As for your tuition fees, by all means, wait until the course is over before paying. But don't even think about vanishing. Uh, uh, <laughs> in addition to Mora, payment in alcohol is also warmly welcomed. A quick question, sir. Does our special arrangement still stand? But of course! And when the time comes, you can hand in your homework first. I to collect the homework submissions together. Uh... Does that fall under the assistance duties? Do we get paid for this? Think of it as an initiation into Mondstadt's traditional culture. An opportunity to immerse yourselves in the Windbloom Festival. I'm going to great lengths here to make sure you're a part of the festivities. Not to mention, it would entitle you to a share of the remuneration. Oh, sir, yes, sir! Good. In that case, when Kai is finished with his homework, let's go and look for him at the Knights of Favonius headquarters. But for now, I've got classes to teach. Traveler, why not make the most of it and check things out in the meantime? The vendors in Mondstadt have arranged all sorts of festive activities. Don't forget to try them out. 